And that's where it all began. And he was confident in that as well. Yeah. yeah. I remember when we met with him, we talked with him, and we got that video with him at the end of the game. He said, we're going dancing. We're going and dancing. And you can tell, like, everybody who was there, the feeling was just kind of like, we, they weren't. They were like more uh, interested in where they were going to play, who they were going to play. Because I do firmly believe that they thought we're getting this first round upset. Yeah, they one hundred percent believe that. That's the vibes I was getting out of everyone surrounding OU. Uh, I've been texting Jalen a lot. He was super yeah. excited. Uh, not only going into the game, but after the game, they were going nuts. Shout out to Jalen. Shout out to everyone from OU celebrating this day. Shout out to everyone from the state of Michigan celebrating. Michigan basketball doing work yesterday. And by, when I say Michigan basketball, I'm saying Oakland University and Michigan State. I can't say that about my Michigan Wolverines. But this yeah. is what's so fun about March Madness. We can root for Oakland University and Michigan State and have a ton of fun. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. This is Wake Up Woodward. My name is Matt Broder. I'm here with my co-host, Brandon Dent, a.k.a. Detroit Kool-Aid. Yeah. Hey, chat family, I haven't been able to say this the last few days, but as always, you guys are the biggest part of this show and our wake up with family we appreciate you all as always smash that like button and if you already have encourage somebody else to do the same that is how it's done we got jb in the td booth kg is not here today he's on the big d energy show uh sam flannel also our third co-host will be hosting big d energy oh there's kg <laughs> eat him up eat him up in spirit <laughs> eat him up neil rule will not be on big d energy today because he is down getting ready to call Oakland University versus the NC State Wildcats? NC State. So what's their mascot? I don't know. Something that Golden Grizzlies uh, will eat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think Pride of uh, Ali Wolf McNeil. Shout out to Ali McNeil. Uh, NC State. What'd you say, JB? I think like Wolf Packs or something. Wolf Pack. That's it. NC State Wolf Pack. See, JB. When, when in need, the JB MVP. comes. Oh, I need another word after that. <laughs> Pause. Moving on. I almost feel like another word. <laughs> another might make one. It, uh... Worse. Yeah. Worse. There are two guys I got to talk about. Well, actually, first off, <laughs> shout out Greg Campy. Greg Campy. Forty years. He says this is now his the biggest win in program history since they wow. beat Michigan yeah. in two thousand. He's been the coach there for forty years. Coach Trey Townsend's dad. One of his first recruits, the cameraman who you saw nationally on CBS often yesterday. Greg Campy, shout out to you. Huge win, very well-respected coach around the NCAA and here in the state of Michigan from Tom Mizzo, John Beeline. Everybody respects Greg Campy, but Trey Townsend and Jack Golke, these were the stars from yesterday. Jack Golke gets all the, uh, all the attention, all the love, and he deserves it, man. 10 out of 20, 32 point, 10 out of 20, three-point field goals. 32 points total. He truly kept this team in the game. It felt what I was nervous about, especially in the first half, really throughout the whole game. Every time he would make a three or Oakland would pull away by three, four, five, six points, it seemed like Kentucky would answer with the three of their own. And it felt like it, Oakland University just needs to extend this lead, push it to 10, push it to 11, 12. And you think they could they could hold off Kentucky to get away with this win. They got to the free throw line, but weren't making their free throws. Down the stretch, when you see the, the it, it flashed, they had missed, uh, I, I believe it was, what were they, five of 12 from, uh, five of 12 free throws, but they were only up a couple points. If you make that, if you're making those seven free throws, you're up nine, 10, 11 points with two minutes to go. But no, it was a close game. But then again, Oakland always seemed to answer when Kentucky answered back, whether it was Jack Golke, Trey Townsend, who was a beast in the paint at 6'6", just absolutely bodying the seven-footers, the big men from Kentucky, making sure he gets his little his little pump fake, a little hook <laughs> shot, a little hook shot over the middle. He was using his 6'6 frame, frame to get lower than these big men and really took over in the second half. Kool-Aid, who impressed you? Actually, that would be a dumb question. Who would impress you more, Jack Golke or Trey Townsend? What um, What do you feel about that tag team and what they just did in the first I, round? I'm, I'm glad that you actually mentioned them together because what I noticed with Jack Golke is he played to his strengths. He is a three-point shooter. He takes threes. He makes threes. And it was absolutely vital to what and crucial to Oakland University's big win yesterday. But when you talk about the Golden Grizzlies, a lot of people thought that the size disadvantage was going to be uh, the biggest impact in this game. When you look at what Trey Townsend did, 17 points and 12 big rebounds, nobody else on the Golden Grizzlies got double-digit rebounds. You know what? 
only one other player on on in the game, and that was uh, Mitchell from Kentucky, actually had uh, double digit rebounds. When you talk about the strength and the size, the ferocity that they played with, great size. It, 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 Trey Townsend, <laughs> man, uh, Jack Gokey, what a dynamic duo. And usually, that's all you need: a hot player from behind the arc, a hot player that's hitting the ball, hitting the sh- outside shots. And then a player that can play big on the inside to try and nullify any of these disadvantages that generally will happen uh, in the paint. And you know who we used to see do that a lot? Who? Michigan basketball. Yeah. During the John Beeline era. That was one of their tactics. They were great from behind the arc. And they're, even though they weren't, they didn't go into a lot of these games having a size advantage, they still found a way to play bigger than what a lot of people thought their front court was going to be in terms of an impact on that game. That's what we saw at Oakland last night. Yeah, yeah. That's when the underdogs are shining. This yeah. is the, the Golden Grizzlies. They didn't take this. They didn't feel like the underdogs. We all know they were. Most of us, most of everybody around the country would pick Kentucky. It was a bad matchup. Like Neil Root was telling us, Oakland University, they pr- play primarily zone defense. Kentucky, I believe, was the number one three-point shooting team in the country. Not a good matchup. But that didn't matter to the Oakland University Golden Grizzlies. They nope. pulled it out, winning 80 to 76 over Kentucky. Now you never know what comes next. They go to the round of 32. They play NC NC State. At, at this point, once you beat a team, a blue blood, especially like Kentucky, once you shock the world like this, your confidence, their confidence must be through the roof. It must be through the roof. I, I You can almost throw out seeds for a team like this. Throw out the seeding. Number 14 against whatever NCAA, NCAA, whatever <laughs> NC State is, it doesn't matter because this team thinks they are the number one seed in March Madness. Whether they are or they aren't, we know we're going to get their best effort in this next game. Hey, Saturday night, 7-10 start, just like last night. You never know what the Golden Grizzlies can do, JB. You think they got a shot. You of course definitely. they got a shot. How do, you, how do you feel about them knocking off <laughs> NC State here tomorrow night? I definitely think they have a shot, especially given the fact that in my bracket, which obviously is busted right now, I had them facing and going up against Texas Tech, which would have been a probably an even worse matchup because their defense is still top notch. But I think Oakland definitely has a chance going up against NC State. And just last night, everything felt right for Oakland in the air. Jack Gokey, Trey Townsend, I, I believe I'm saying his name right. But yeah, Greg Campy, shout out to him for being able to prepare these young men and get them ready for this game right here. Jack Goki, if you can keep up this, you know, this three-point shot is perfect. Now, just know you don't have to sit here and take every shot that's no. outside the arc because there were some shots that I was looking like, I don't know, man. This, this is a little sketchy. You're just throwing this shot up here like this. But, hey, majority of them, they went down. So, I got to give them credit for that. But I don't know about you guys. What? But yesterday, man, it, it, this just had me in my feels of... What a great day full of basketball.